Yo, we're here. It's a beautiful day. Wednesday. Here in Guild Wars 2. We're about to game. We're about to press some buttons. And here we go. I'm on power mech. Rifle. Power mech. This build sucks. I'm just gonna say it. This build is bad. I don't even know how much damage it does. I'm pretty sure it's like barely over 30k DPS. That's my understanding of it. Uh, <laughs> if anyone knows how much this build does, you tell me. I don't know. And to be honest, that's not important. Because today, I've got some good content. We're playing Power Mech. Scuffed build. Not the Hammer build. You could play Hammer. Hammer is better. I refuse. I main Rifle Mech. Look at my mech. He's got rifle arms. I have a rifle in my arms. That's what we're going to be using today. It's full Zerka. You got the Scholar Rune on. Force Impact Sigil. You got the Infusions. We got the Thief Relic. I actually think Fireworks might be better, but I don't care. You know, I don't want to have to deal with an actual interactive relic. That is unfun. And what's the plan today? Let me tell you, my friends. This is very simple stuff. Um... Everyone's always complaining that, oh man, you know, my build doesn't do enough DPS, and that means I could never even remotely compete in DPS meters. We are going to put that to the test today, guys. We are going to go in random pugs, and I'm going to see if we can beat the median DPS for, like, the highest DPS build on a variety of bosses. I'm actually not sure how possible this will be because this build's quite bad. And of course, if you get a faster kill time, your DPS goes up. So it's a little bit pug dependent as well, but we'll see what we can do. So on Veil vale Guardian, the best DPS build is a Blade Sword. We will see if we how high we can get. See if we can beat the median DPS, which is 20,000 DPS. We will then repeat the process on a variety of raid bosses, maybe some Wing 4 challenge modes as well. It's going to be great. It's going to be content. It's going to be good, good stuff. We're going to get in some pugs. We're going to blast some insane power mech DPS. They'll probably expect me to be Condi DPS, because that's that's the good mech build, right? Condi mech. But they're never going to see this coming, okay? They're never going to see the power mech invading their groups. That is the plan for today. That is the entertainment for today and this evening. We will test the limits. We will limit test power mech. And honestly, if this build does well, and it actually does good DPS relative to pugs in decent groups, then I don't want to hear everyone, anyone ever complain that their build doesn't do enough DPS ever again. Okay? That's just a, it's a skill issue. We all know it. Because this build is very bad, actually. Very, very weak compared to pretty much every other DPS. In fact, this build does less DPS than most boon supports. I'm pretty sure Herald actually does more damage than this. So, like, Harbinger will do more damage than this, right? Like, a lot of the um, Alacrity builds will do more damage than this as well. So, that's the plan. Let's go. Mr. Trim, I only play Kitless NG. Can you use Throw Mine instead of Grenades? You know what? Fuck it. Let's do Throw Mine instead of Grenades as well, actually, because I do like Throw Mine. It's one of my favorite skills in the game, because it's just, there's something so ridiculous about throwing a mine at your target, and then just, boom, blowing it up. Throw a mine, let's do it. Yo, guys, what is the LFG, by the way? What, huh? I guess it's maybe a little bit too early um, for the LFG to be active. We're not really at prime hours yet. But dude, this shit is fucking dead. Why is it so dead? Wing 4 CM, Q Heal, Hand Kite, Condi. Um, fuck it, I'm in. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do the, guys, I'm doing the line. High DPS. Let's see how that goes. I, they have not interacted with me in any way at this point. There is, there's just nothing. Look. <laughs> there's no response. Have they moved me or something? Oh, they already moved me. Yeah, look, we're in. I've been moved into group four. I guess that's like the DPS people. I presume group two is, I don't know what group two is to be. I don't know what's going on here. Like it's like some kind of C formation. 
All right, okay, let's check the wingman numbers. Oh, dude, this is actually fucked. No, dude, there's absolutely no way I can win. I can't get the highest median here. Because, oh, this is bad, guys. I, this is very, very bad news. I forgot to account for this. Some really good builds are only played by good people. A very good example of this is Condi Daredevil. Nobody plays this build except for people who actually press buttons. So the median is actually like insanely high. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for us here, boys. Uh, I'm afraid. It, it's over. Well, honestly, this virtuoso number is actually going to be really hard to beat. And you know what number is going to be really hard to beat, by the way, guys? It's actually um, Weaver. Because Weaver is so OP, um, to be honest. Like, this, any build, any area where Weaver is uh, actually scary is going to be very difficult. Man, guys, look how overpowered everything is. Do you guys see this? Look how broken this is. 45,000 DPS? And the median is 31k? These numbers are ridiculous. Man. That's crazy stuff. Alright, I'm going in. We have 10 out of 10. It's time. This is where the content begins. God Emperor. Here we go. Prepare yourself. Oh, I, oh yeah, they're doing the thing. That's huge. Top who? Which Bon? What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what have I joined, guys? What what type of group have I got myself into here? Someone's gone. Someone has been cleansed. Why are the subgroups like this, by the way? What's going on here? Wait, why is this guy in Underworld Alpine Borderlands? I think this is in itself the true content, the true reveal. What is happening here? Hi, ADPS or QDPS? What's very interesting to me, how many need cons for a lack? What? Top you who? What? What does this mean? What's the, su what's the subgroup set up here as well? I think it's all DPS players are on their own. Then I guess the this is quickness or something? Or I, I don't understand what this is to be honest. I don't know what's going on. You've got like a Herald up here. You've got uh, the Virtuoso in, in group one as well. I'm not sure if this group will succeed. I guess we'll see though. Okay. I mean, this guy is just in the aerodrome. They're about, the boss is about to spawn. Wait, they're not going to make it, are they? Nope. Do you see Wait, that? what's going on here? Huh. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess we're just GGing. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, this is going to be an adventure. Uh, let me tell you that, guys. Like, this is uh, this is going to be something. I don't really know uh, what to expect here, but I mean, here we go. I'm firing the Jade Buster Cannon. It's a pretty cool skill, no? Oh fuck! I haven't done Ken CM for a while, dude. What is my mech doing over there? It needs to be here, doesn't it? It's going to lose its stats. Someone's already dead. It's not a good start. Okay, it's fine. We're going to ramp, guys. We're going to ramp. We're going to ramp up. That's how it's got to be. Had a bit of a rough start. We had a rough start, guys, but we're, we're getting there now. Dude, look at this mech build. It's actually blasting. You guys see this? This is crazy. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. The agony is directly stacked. In the group. I think we're dead. Yeah, I, th I think this is looking pretty bad. Honestly, this build is performing pretty well, though. Especially since that was scuffed. Okay, so... Honestly, this is actually pretty good. You know, this is pretty fucking good, guys. Can the Indomitable high median value uh, on challenge mode? Yeah, we want to be getting, like, into the mid-20Ks. Tell Con to give you the lead and cull the weak. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> That's fucked up. Ah! <laughs> no! Uh, uh, hmm. Two people instantly died. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we should probably just reset. Like, this is, uh, this is not going anywhere. Well, I mean, maybe we can actually still play, I guess. What need a lack for 30 seconds? 
I don't, I don't know how I've ended up in this group, guys, but honestly, I bet you're all glad that I have. I've somehow managed to land myself in one of the most unhinged groups in all of Guild Wars 2. Like, genuinely insane. Dude, I'm actually surprised how, um, how well Power Mech is performing. Guys, look how non-bad this is. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Dude. This build's actually pretty good. I'm just blasting. Someone, someone's left, someone's out. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I mean... The thing is, here's the problem. Now more of you guys are gonna join, and it's gonna ruin my experiment, because it's gonna slowly improve the group. And that's actually no good. I think I should probably leave, uh, to be honest. This sucks. I'm out. Junkyard CM. That would be- that would be a huge invasion. How about- okay, I'm gonna do- okay, fuck it. I'm gonna join this, like, Ice Brood Saga 5. This is, like, one of the mo- this is, like, yeah, bread and butter group. Let's join this, like, bread and butter group here. Let's do it. Oh, we're doing Bone Skinner first. Well, that's exciting. Here we go. That's 100 second. Okay, show me evidence- oh, this guy's going in! Ooh, he's- he's got in, guys! He's got in! Right, I'm just gonna port. Wait, <laughs> this guy was like, time's up. I'm going in. Guy doesn't care, man. He's just ready to go. He's ready to blast. I wasn't ready. Oh, I wasn't ready. Boom. Action key activated. Very nice. Dude, look at this DPS. We're pumping. Absolutely pumping, guys. You need to all just, just honestly, just... Be stunned by the power of the power mech. The awe-inspiring power. I'm gonna greed. I don't care. I'm gonna die to this. I don't care. It was worth it. I got the action key off. They're gonna res me. It's fine. If I see an opportunity to get the action key, guys, I'm going for it. Simple as that, man. Action key's worth it. It actually is, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's uh, definitely a DPS increase. It's really, really broken. Why am I dying? Healer? Uh, one heal? One heal? Oh, uh, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Oh! You know... Trig... I'm top DPS! Yo! Power mech! Power mech! Oh my god! Guys! Imagine playing Virtuoso! Isn't that supposed to be OP? <laughs> oh my god! I thought this was- I thought Power Mech was bad, guys. I'm- I'm farming everyone. All my damage was Spirit Nova. But we don't talk about that. Also, yo, Trig, remove the goddamn Articast from the action hotkey. Uh, it's not fun. Solar probably did that. You can undo it. Let's see, let me have a look at Bone Skinner, actually. Uh, what are we doing? Bone Skinner. Dude, the numbers here are gonna be insane, okay? Because of the action key. This is not fair. The, the <laughs> this is illegal, okay? <laughs> oh, guys! We did it! We actually beat it! We had 32k DPS. We beat every single median value for Bone Skinner. This patch. Oh, it was this patch. I bet last patch it was higher. Oh, 28k? 29k? 29k again? There it is. Every every single median value. <laughs> Beaten on the Bone Skinner with Power Mechanist. An absolute trash build. There we go. <laughs> so there it is. If you play Power Mech even remotely competently, you will actually be better than most players. There it is. So that's what you got to do, guys. You got to just press your buttons and it's going to be good. All right. We're going to do now we're going to do the same thing. Can we get top DPS? Oh no. I will benders guys. This is actually a fact. Only people who really like Willbender play Willbender. No! The bug happened. I'm not gonna lie, it's not that I forgot about that, it's that I just kind of assumed it didn't happen, which I guess is a really bad assumption. Okay. I'm top DPS. This guy's gonna reroll. See this virtuoso? He's like, no! It's not possible! <laughs> I thought Virtuoso was supposed to be the best build! But he forgot about the power mech. 
the original God Emperor. Hallowed be thy name. Bow before the machine. Okay, we see action key. This is our trip to the high DPS. I'm still top DPS. The Virtuoso is powerless. I don't have alacrity. I'm still top DPS. My lack of alacrity uptime, though, may punish me. I actually think my overall DPS here is going to be quite bad, isn't it? Why don't I have alacrity? I'm still top DPS. Okay. Let <laughs> <laughs> we got silver. It feels bad. All right. I, there's no way that's a good number. That is trash. It. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, only DJ. Oh, yeah. It's because, dude, only DJs play Weaver on this. You know what? I We're going to have to go back, guys. We didn't beat the median for Virtuoso. We were top DPS, though. However, I think we actually can. If that we have a decent run that doesn't take 15 years, okay, and I actually have boons, that is a free destruction. Yeah, this, this is trash. Also, only sweats play fucking Weaver, okay, on, uh, on that boss, right? Only sweats play that. This is a, a that's a legal median. We basically got everything there, guys. We beat pretty much every single <laughs> median DPS value uh, on power back yet again, with no boons and going down at the start, guys. Look, seriously, I am better than the average blade sword on this build. No, <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Let's go. I do have alacrity that time, and that actually, that pleases me. We're going to climb the DPS charts, boys. Oh, man, I'm not even running grenade kit, too. So, like, if I had grenade kit, I'd be doing a fair bit more DPS. Oh, no. We're not going to win this time, guys. I, I was AFK at the beginning, okay? But that is my own fault, so we've got to own that, guys. We can't run away from that. Boom. Oh, nearly got 20k. We did beat the Virtuoso, which is quite funny to me. And we beat the Scrapper. I think I could I could have been top DPS there if I wasn't trolling at the start. That's that's completely my fault. I will I'll, I'll take the L on that one, guys. I absolutely will. It was well played by the other team. Let's see what the uh, numbers look like for this one. Twenty, <laughs> dude, <it's, laughs> the numbers are so low. <laughs> I reckon, yeah, we could do, we could do Blade Sword. Blade Sword is 22k median. We could absolutely destroy that on Power Mech. Absolutely. Yeah, that would, we could annihilate that on Mechanist. Okay, here we go. Not sure if the cleave on this build is that great, to be honest. I'm just going to trust the uh, supports. See if that's a good idea. Yeah, I guess the cleave's all right. 50k DPS. It did not get CC'd there. We cleave. We're hitting both. Boom, boom. Yeah, definitely can't. Gonna struggle to match the Virtuoso there, to be honest. Because the Virtuoso cleave is fantastic. Still, 41k DPS. There we go. Not bad. Let's see what the uh, numbers look like for the bears. Okay, this is... <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? What are these numbers? Are this probably a lot of the thing here is actually execution. So we absolutely demolish the median here, but that was because we actually stacked them pretty well. That's kind of what's going on there, right? We stacked everything pretty nicely, so that worked out. Um, yeah, that kind of worked out in our favor, uh, to be fair. So yeah, the median values here are actually very low, like thirty-four thousand. We were forty-one thousand, so we absolutely uh, crushed it there. Holy shit! I'd run hat. By the way, guys, guys, I want to be very clear. Here. I am running a deliberately bad build. A uh, hammer is better. Um, yeah, this this build is, is not good. Um, it's very weak. I'm doing it on purpose. Uh, but you can run rifle if you want to. It's, it, I, I like rifle. It's actually one of my favorite weapons for PvE on NG, actually. It's a fun weapon to use. Uh, but you can obviously, run, um, can obviously run hammer, which is better. Hey, I'm not even doing low DPS, Lime of Light. We're pumping right now. We're blasting. Dude, look. Guys, I am doing Weaver and Virtuoso tier DPS in Pugs. Look, we beat a Virtuoso 
a scrapper and a will bender, okay? I, th I, I guess the scrapper is probably quickness, though, actually. But that's fine. Scrapper's broken, so it's whatever. Doesn't count. Wait, they- no! Oh, God, they went without me! No! It's, uh, it's over. It's over. Well, I mean, I don't think I can uh, catch up now, unfortunately. They have defiled me. I have been defiled by Shiver Peaks Pass. You know, what's actually kind of funny here, by the way, is that situations like this is actually where this build is the worst. Like, builds like Power Mech, they do very bad benchmark DPS, but they're also very consistent at doing DPS. So what it means is that even when the group is kind of scuffed and everything's going to hell, it actually doesn't really matter that much. Um, because you can just keep DPSing anyway, like you and your mech just go crazy from 1200 range. And this means that on fights that have no mechanics, these builds are kind of worse than normal. Whereas on fights that actually do have mechanics, builds like this actually do pretty well. That's, that's kind of, and this is kind of the trick that I'm doing here as well, guys. I will confess to all of you, I'm doing a trick. And the trick is, is that... The, the most important thing on any DPS build, or any build that does damage, like a boon support build as well, is you need to be attacking the boss at all time. If your benchmark is low, but you attack the boss pretty much constantly, good news, you will pretty much out DPS anything. Like any spec, not played very well, you will get destroyed. And you might go, well, should I be relying on people not playing well uh, to get top DPS? Honestly, you don't need to rely on it. That's almost guaranteed, actually. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, th this is actually... Look at this, guys. Look how well Power Mech is performing. Seriously. Like, this is... Okay, some of you may have noticed that I've been a little bit lukewarm about a lot of balance discussions in Guild Wars 2 recently. This is kind of why. Um, like, I really struggle to go, Ah! Oh, they've got to buff this build! They've got to buff it right now! I, I really struggle to get really energized about that conversation, because I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a red herring, it's just not important. Like, the only thing that really matters is do you press your buttons enough? Are you hitting the boss? Are you perma-dead to mechanics? Like, outside of speedrunning, it really doesn't matter, right, like, what you play. Like, the thing that's going to give you your number, like, your big DPS number at the end, is people killing you, okay? Um, is, uh, it, it's, it's all about, like, how well you execute, um, more than anything else, really, right? And, like, how how like smooth the group is and how well you press your buttons and how well you interact with the fight like that's that's where all of the performance is going to be come coming from i actually think this is probably uh, one of those fights where i don't think power mech is actually going to do very well because this fight has no mechanics on normal mode do not look away. and it, it does nothing so it's a golem i don't think we can i don't think we can win because this is golem rotation central here gamers well, I mean, it's going pretty well. I already used all my CC, though. It's over. Go, Mac, go. All I'm doing here is just pressing all of my skills on cooldown. And it's kind of working. I feed! Honestly, that's... like This is how you know Ceres is a Guild Wars 2 raid boss, right? He's trying to relate to the player base by saying, I feed! Fire the Jade Mortar. Go, go. Oh, it's close on this one, guys. It's actually close. Oh, the Weaver's got the Execute, though. No, no. Oh, yeah, no, no. The Weaver's got the Execute. So, yeah, the Weaver's going to get top DPS here for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's going to be a big advantage. Oh. It's over. We have no hope. But again, I'm actually kind of surprised how good this is. It's a lot better than I was expecting. Ooh. <laughs> and bear in mind, you could actually play a much better version of this build. You can play hammer and grenade kit, and you'll get a lot more damage uh, out of this too. And there we go. Look at that. Beautiful. 22,000 DPS. 
within 1k of Virtuoso and within 2k of Weaver, which is like an over 40k DPS build. <laughs> Actually, let's have a look at Sarah CM. What is median DPS here? This will be high. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. So we had 22k DPS. Wow. Yeah. We did more DPS than the median catalyst. A little bit less than median virtue. That makes sense, to be honest. More than the median weaver. More than Vindy. More than Soul Beast. More than Harb. More than Mirage. Who the fuck's playing Mirage on this fight? Okay, um, more than Untamed. More than Spellbreaker. Scourge is scuffed because it's got like a lack numbers in there as well. More than Hollow. Yeah, we beat every single build's median except for Virtuoso. Which, to be fair, is not a surprise. That's a very good fight for Virtuoso as well. Because it can fully ramp up very nicely uh, on that one. And it's a golem fight as well. But anyway, uh, yeah, you can literally do good damage and end up being like top DPS in pugs or like top three DPS on pugs on a build that benches. I don't even I don't even know what this build benches. I, I legit have no idea. I don't know. I believe it's, if I had to guess, I'd say it's like 32k, right? If I, if I had to guess, um, something like that. And it's going up against builds like Weaver. What does Weaver bench these days? I'm actually going to quickly check this out. I have, I'm completely out of the loop on all this stuff. Um, Weaver is benching like 42,000 DPS. Yeah, like 42k DPS. Catalyst is 43k DPS. Wait, Soul Beast is 42. Dragon Hunter is 42 as well. Yeah, so basically these builds have a 10k DPS advantage and they're still losing or barely ahead on actual encounters. Mostly because I'm just like vaguely pressing buttons. I want to do a Veil Guardian. Give me Veil Guardian. Ah! Wing 1 FC. 100 KP. All right, here we go. Mech! Mech is gonna dominate this Veil Guardian, guys. Wait, what's this? Wait, Midstrat! Ooh! In pugs! Now that... That is fucking spicy. I mean, we should just stand in this. This... Wait, no! No! This cannot be! I've wandered into a semi... I've got... I've got into a semi-good pug. No! What the fu What the fuck is this? Wait, it's this guy! This guy is like the number one log on, on shit. He's like the number one log man. This is bad. We're in tr we're in fucking shit, boys. Okay, this is bad news. What's actually interesting about this build is that its burst damage is quite bad. And you're going to see a really big disparity between this build here and actually the top DPS. Because it actually doesn't have a very good damage profile. This is a thing that actually, to be honest, is quite difficult to parse. Especially when you, you know, you, you, you know, you're learning the game and stuff. But each build has its own damage profile. And especially because fights are so short in Guild Wars 2 uh, and phases are so short, this actually massively affects performance. So for example, we're really struggling to get good DPS on this encounter because it's simply dying too fast for us, right? Like it's just dying way too fast for mech to really uh, be able to actually get any kind of value. And that's why you're going to see a big disparity. It is also worth noting, actually, that the, I th I'm pretty sure both of these players are pretty good. Like, who's the Blade... Is it the Blade Swan? I think is doing well. This is bad, though. We are dying. And it's actually holding up pretty well, actually, considering uh, how good um, Weaver is on this fight and Blade Swan as well. I'm actually surprised it's holding up pretty well, actually. We are kind of feeding here, though. But it's fine. Oh, I got ported. Whoops. It's fine. We killed the boss. Ha! Look at that. That's not bad. We still got the Soul Beast, the other mech, uh, and the Chrono. We got the Chrono. We got the Soul Beast. Okay. But we were defeated by some very good players. But you know what? I'll allow that. Okay. I'll, I'll allow that. The Boon Chronos are right on you, though. To be fair, you would actually expect that. Uh, I'm pretty sure Boon Chrono probably benches higher than this. Boon Crow is 34k. Yeah, this build isn't 34k. No shot. This build is like uh, 32, 33, I'd say. Maximum. I feel like it's only... Well, I mean... 
No, it's only getting worse from here, to be honest. Gorseville is not going to be good. Oh, wait, we have Brick here as well on Catalyst. Dude, now it's getting really bad. Oh, man. I'm going to get bullied, guys. I'm going to get bullied by Catalyst and Weaver and Bladesworn. This fucking sucks. This is cheating. Look, they've look out, look at that. Oh, Brick fucked it up though, bro. He only has he only has four stacks. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, this is like a yeah, the Mersart coins. This entire guild's a goddamn cell guild. Are they? What's what is this? All right, get in there. Yeah, I mean, this isn't gonna go well, guys. I'm gonna give you a little spoiler. We're gonna get farmed by the good people playing uh playing Weaver and Bladesworn. There's no hope. Wait, why am I a brick? Dude, Brick's gonna get exposed. Brick is actually getting exposed. He's sick. Wait, what is this? Why is he 16k DPS? Wait, what, what's happened? Is he AFK? Wait, he's 12k DPS? Wait, what happened to him? <laughs> is he fucking heal catalyst? Oh, he DC'd. Still counts. It's fine, guys. It's still legit. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, post this log to the server, guys. I think we'll enjoy this. Uh, Power Mac doing more damage than DPS Catalyst. Oh, man. Honestly, it feels good. This is very uncommon. I'm actually playing with a good group in Pugs. That's wild. I'm getting Aegis. I have Boons. And this is, this is just good. This is what we like to see. Oh, we can pad on the ads. Huge. Look at the sheer awe-inspiring power, guys. Of the mech. It's look, it's actually holding up pretty well. You gotta give you gotta give a little bit of credit here, guys, to old Jade Mech CJ1. It's not even that bad. It's only um only 4k behind Bladesworn. That is pretty good. <laughs> That's really not bad. Let's go! Yeah, look, only 4k. I mean, Weaver is amazing, right? Especially on bosses that don't move and you can just do the golem rotation on like here. So, you know, we're, we're struggling versus the Weaver. We're definitely having some problems there. I will, I'll definitely concede that. So we did 24k DPS there. How does that um, stack up? So we did 20, we did 22k on Veil Guardian, right? Yeah, and that beats Bladesworn, the highest median. And then on Gorsival, we did 24k. And on Gorsival, yeah, that beats every single median. On power mech, right? Although, maybe that was with the adds. I don't know what the target damage was. The target damage might have been lower than that. Oh, target was 24, cleave was 29? Oh, yeah, I wasn't, um... Yeah, I, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, well, there you go, then. Yeah, so we crushed it, no? Absolutely crushed it. Everything got completely farmed. We beat every single median, not even close, actually. Uh, on power mech. Yeah, not even a tiny bit close. Wait, yo, we were nearly the high... We were nearly as good as the top dead eye. Right? <laughs> Wait, we were comparable to the top Spellbreaker? That one doesn't feel right. I feel right. I feel like that means nobody's playing Spellbreaker. Alright, I'm going in. Okay, there, honestly, I think theoretically, this should be a boss where Power Mech looks really bad. Because this is a true golem fight. Every single build is going to be cranking um, its benchmark here as hard as possible, especially Weaver. Uh, Weaver and Kata love this fight because the bosses don't move, and that means that they stand in every single AoE. So Weaver and Catalyst absolutely crank on this fight. It's a very good environment for those particular builds. So we should see, we should see a big disparity here. It's not looking terrible though, to be honest. I mean, it's looking a bit terrible, but it's not looking unplayable. Wait, dude, wait, what is this pug, by the way, guys? It's fucking Miragon. This is another, like, wingman hero, right, who's got in this. Like, seriously, guys, every single goddamn tryhard has infiltrated my casual Veil Guardian pug. They've all conspired against Power Mac. Listen, if anyone's watching this, this is all fake, right? This, this squad has been infested with tryhards who have a, an agenda against Mech and want to make it look bad. Ignore all these people. This is, this is actual imposters. Like, it, oh, ha, he's, I'm not wrestling him. He, look, kill him. Kill him with the bomb. Kill him. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha. What are you going to do now? Oh, that guy's dead. Yeah. Oh, no. Wait, this guy's killing me with the bomb. Oh, but someone killed him with the bomb. Revenge. This is big. We've got some PVP going on here now. 
This is where the game really gets exciting. Everyone's feeding. But look, I'm ranged. I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to die. I'm out here. I'm in the jungle. You can't stop the mech. The mech just keeps going. Ugh. Well, I mean, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look very good, does it? You know, we did more DPS than the boon specs. Uh, but you know what? It, honestly, against very good players, it doesn't look that bad, actually. It's only like 4k behind an untamed. It definitely doesn't look against Weaver. But to be fair, this fight is absolutely sick for Weaver. Uh, but yeah, yeah it's, uh, it was all right. It was all right. Okay, this was this was uh, a PvP situation, okay? These players, they invade this wonderful pug group. And then they expect me to not PvP them. That's not how this works. We PvP them. But yeah, like, that was... Oh, uh, yeah, still, honestly. Like, despite um, despite all that, I think the build actually kind of holds up. Kind of holds up. Because bear in mind, guys, I do want to reiterate, you can get more DPS by playing Hammer. You can get more DPS by playing Grenade Kit instead of uh, Throw Mine as well. Probably squeeze out an extra couple of thousand. Um, uh, pretty easily on this build. Um, it looks pretty damn good. And bear in mind, guys, those are really good players. To be clear, some of those players are actually the wingman nerds, right? Like the actual grinders, right? Of, of people who do this, right? Um, let's see. If, yeah, for example, that Weaver is this guy, Mr. Number One Pars, right? He's probably got a whole bunch of them, right? Sweaty boy. Um, that Ranger was also similarly um, a fucking core Ranger enjoyer, I believe, but also has like, um, I think some top Pars actually on a, on a variety of specs, actually. Uh, for Ranger as well. So we had a bunch of sweaty nerds in here, and Power Mech didn't even look that bad. Well, it looked a little bit bad. It looked pretty bad compared to Weaver, right? But everything else, it was, it was all right. And Weaver is really good, and this is also a shockingly mediocre build. So honestly, guys, I declare this mech experiment a great success. There it is. Full success, my friends. People always say that, oh yeah, this build is like complete garbage. Oh yeah, this build is trash. It's unplayable. Um, and people are really fixated on the benchmark number a lot. Like they go like, oh, my build does 2k DPS less than this build. It, it you know, it's terrible. You know, as long as you vaguely press buttons, um, actually you'll do pretty well. Uh, and you'll be able to contribute to the group, and you shouldn't feel bad. Uh, you should only feel bad if you aren't putting any effort, you're playing really badly, and therefore doing ZDPS. Boom!